Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm doing another background for one of my um, Christmas card, digital cards that I'm going to release to everybody so they can have for the holidays. Um, so I'm making just another background. This is going to be a totally abstract background. I really don't know where I'm going with this or I don't have a specific plan in place. I am just going to create. So I'm going to turn you guys again, Kimberly, Kimberly LeClaire Art. And I'm going to turn you so you can um, see a little bit better what I'm doing. And I'm doing it in um, pastels. So I know the last one I did as a uh, collage. This one I'm going to do is pastels. So I'm going to just try to get a basic background down first. So I'm thinking I'm going with green. Just want to get some pretty colors down. I'm probably going to even spray it. I don't typically spray my backgrounds at all or any of my pieces really. But I don't want it to shift too much when I put the other things on top of it. So I'm just getting some colors down. Not real concerning with you know particular design at all, really. These are just going to be the backgrounds for my um, for the pieces later, so that when I do my overlays of either words, Merry Christmas, or something, um, you're going to see the painting as whatever the the cutout is going to be and that's going to be done digitally so i'm going to kind of fill this in this will be a short video because i'm just having some fun with some backgrounds and i'll probably kind of trade off between my collage and my uh, pastel work since those are kind of been my two big things that I've been loving to work on lately. And I don't really want to give up on one or the other. So I thought I would just kind of bounce back and forth a little bit and let you guys enjoy different ones. Oops. And sometimes on these chalks, they'll, they'll be weird. You'll, you'll go to use them and they don't even come off on one direction. So you have to flip it over and make it work on the other side. And I'm using my um, my Claire Fontaine paper on my pastel mat. And I'm just trying to push the color into the paper right now just to fill in the whole paper. And I don't really have 100% enough of the uh, chalk on there in order to really be able to fill up the tooth yet. So I've I gotta go in here and some of these areas that aren't blending really well, I can tell it's because there's just not enough. And let's get a little bit more, I guess, going the other direction again. It almost gives it the look of a uh, some fabric in a way. It's kind of what it reminds me of. I don't want it to blend entirely. I don't want it to turn to a dark green, so I got to watch how I blend here. This year I'll have to try to remember to actually get some Christmas cards out. I haven't been doing them lately. If more people stick with just connecting on Facebook or, you know, texting and stuff like that. And a lot of times uh, Christmas cards have kind of fallen to the wayside. All right, so that's kind of a, a general background like I want. Just something really soft. So I'm actually going to spray it. I don't want it to um, blend at all. So we'll let this kind of dry. And I don't typically do anything with Christmas cards as far as selling any products for car Christmas cards. As far as to say, hey, look at my site for, you know, what they're going to look like. This is just something I'm doing just for my... Um, my mailing list members and have some fun with it. So make sure that you're on the mailing list as well if you'd like to get any of the cards because I'll be distributing it that way because so it'll go out through email. Can't tell if it's, I think it's still a little bit wet. But if you guys have um, 
seen any of my paintings over the last few months and you know you've been kind of like wow i really really like that one make sure you ask me about it um see if it's still available and if it's not i can probably create something very similar to you you know for it and and as far as the commissions um, we can do some special things for gifts and then especially like in the um collage ones because those are ones that are really meant to be very um, customized anyway so you really want to work with that all right so now we're going to go with some abstract designs on top of it now i gotta figure out what do i want to do thinking probably to put some red on the top of it so i don't know whether i'm just going to go with some squishes or whether i want to do squiggles or <laughs> what do I want to do? Decisions, decisions. But that's the fun part about painting. You get to just wing it sometimes. <laughs> you don't have to worry about doing anything specific. You just kind of let your mind just go and and do whatever you want. Let's see. Let's. I don't want to cover up this dark, so maybe I'm going to go kind of next to it. Do some lines that are near it. Kind of give it the look of um, flannel in a way, kind of. But at least some nice, cheery holiday colors. Don't know how I'm going to be trying to get it that direction. And this I can blend a little bit to make it softer because the other one's um, been fused down now, so it's not going to blend with it. So I have a better opportunity now of um, not messing up my first one. So it kind of made it a little bit soft. There's not a lot of, um, of the uh, chalk on, so it doesn't blend as well, but it's because it's there's not as much there. Why do we want to make it brighter? This one's really a lot brighter than the original one. And then we also blended it, so we kind of muted it a little bit. So let's kind of bring out some of this color again. And we can also pull in some of the bright green as well. Do that on some of the spots to kind of bring them out. Even though they've been sprayed down, we can still bring them out. So where it's already kind of a lighter green, I'm going to just kind of pull in some, some more of it, more highlights to it. And this is just something that's going to be used for my, my background. So I'm not trying to make a particular painting or effect or anything. I, I just want a background. Okay, and we can bring back in some of the darks as well. I'll highlight out some areas. I want my darks to be too. I want them blended at least. I don't want them to just kind of like stick out on the top like that. So I gotta be careful because this one's a really soft uh, piece of chalk. So it um, lays down really easily. I always have to watch it when I work with it. <laughs> Almost looks like you're looking through a chain link fence. <laughs> Wasn't the look I was going for, but it's kind of what it's going at. Looking into Santa's workshop. That's what it is. That reminds me of trying to uh, lay down the shadows for a cloud or something like that. I hope you guys have a fun day planned. 
that you're doing something exciting this weekend. The weather is starting to change a lot more. You notice my longer sleeves here. Started out with a short sleeve and got a little cold. And gone are the days to go out in the morning and let my dog out and just be in my tank top and my shorts. Now I'm wearing my my jacket out there too. I miss those mornings that it was still pretty warm out. The shadows here probably don't make much sense as far as which boxes they're in. There's not really one particular huge um, focal point, so I might want to bring in something on my red. I'm trying to figure if I want to make one kind of like a pinkish red or a sparkle red. I'm going to bring in a little bit of pink on this one here. Draw your eye to it that way. Kind of zone in then on the pink here. And we'll pull in our green just a little bit brighter on that one. And I do have some sparkle ones, I just don't know how well that's going to scan in. My reds aren't, of course, very solid there. They're really broken up on this one here. Let me just try to pull these in a little bit better. When you guys see the Christmas cards, you'll recognize which ones these backgrounds came from. <laughs> you'll be like, hey, I saw her do that one. I'm not sure what date um, they're going to be available just yet. Um, wanted to do at least four of these. So probably more than likely on the, the date that the fourth one is. When the fourth video is released, then we'll, I'll probably have them available for you guys. So just a little unique background just to be able to use for my cards. It wasn't going to be, you know, a really elaborate uh, <laughs> painting day for you guys. Um, I'll have to maybe next month when we're when I'm done with this, you know, uh, background series, then we'll start bringing in some other designs again. And like I said, I'll probably very back and forth. Um, I don't know if you'll just see it in my posts will be the differences of the collage and the regular or whether I'll bring in any collages in the um, in the videos. Um, they, they're kind of messy and they take a little bit longer to work on um, component wise. So I probably will stick with just the um, pastels or watercolors or things like that in my videos. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but you'll kind of see a different variance of my uh, subject matters. Um, but the main thing is, is I still want to really, you know, push the fact that we, you know, everybody needs these hopeful messages in their lives. And we really want to um, see what's on our walls, see what's surrounding us. Uh, not only people, you know, that are surrounding us, that can be toxic, but you kind of sometimes want to just be like, okay, back off. Um, but what, what do you see on your walls when you wake up and when you come home? And what do you want to see? You know, what kind of messages do you want um, 
to be listening to and reading. Uh, it's all important. Um, and I can help you with that. But again, my name is Kimberly with Kimberly LeClaire Art. And I'm so glad you joined me. Uh, thank you very much. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>